This is the fundamental of calculus. As we move along a curve, we are not just able to find a tangent line touching at a specific point, but more importantly, we can find the instantaneous rate of change of that point. In other words, we are able to find just how fast we are moving along the curve. This has many beautiful consequences, but it is 100% due to what most calculus students disregard, the limit, which is why today I want to talk about the limit definition of the derivative. It all starts with us fixated on a point x on the curve. We will then choose another point on the graph that is h value away. There it is. If you remember things from algebra class, we can form a line crossing these two points. This is called the secant line. We can find the slope of this line. That's great, but what happens when we start bringing these points ever closer together? Not good enough. Closer. Closer. In other words, we want this distance h to approach 0. So we take the limit of this slope as h approaches 0. These two points are so close together they are basically touching each other, and essentially giving us the instantaneous rate of change of the function at that point x. This is a tangent line, and this is the limit definition of the derivative.